January the 23rd, 2021 still is. I am trying to record this. Not an easy thing to do. Somebody played with my microphone issues. The same thing is with open office yesterday. Um, complicating things for me. Lost probably about three hours. Three hours of work wasted. It's a quite extensive video that is in front of me. I probably shouldn't even be doing one really for the reasons I'm about to state to you. But okay, it's concerning the city Klagenfurt. This is somewhere along the border with Slovenia, Austria, within order, uh, Austria and Slovenia. And it's a really, really interesting, interesting stuff I encountered that made me, uh, I decided I'm even more determined now um, to get it done. That's a really, really interesting issue. So I have, I couldn't figure out why the microphone did not record. So I tested other program. I realized eventually the computer is working, but this was weird. Uh, anyhow, January the 23rd, 2021 it is. And so what I'm going to do is the typical time and date. I'm going to go like this. And uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my email box. This year I submitted the resume for distribution of alternative fuels. Buyer, if you want. Okay. Um, brokerage in that sense so with alternative fuels and so on and so forth and I did submit this letter here to this lady here Birgit Lautner um, because I did notice the ad you know I responded to the ad it was on Slovenian website job search site I found that with ad of 48,000 euros per year to be very attractive to me despite my being located in the city of the Novel Mesta. That's eventually not so close, not so close, okay. Just gotta make sure that uh, we have nothing to worry about, okay. Novel Mesa, that's basically where I am at. Oh, go on. Thank you. And this is where the clogging fort is. Uh, and Novel Mesa is where I am at. This. So this is not so close. But, yeah, as I stated, I was all over Austria and Germany and all over the Europe, United Kingdom. That was interesting the other day when I noticed this location here. And that's what I'm not even supposed to be, according to Elizabeth and others. This is not, no, this was like a no, no, no. This is like, this is like one of the most the strictest the strictest the most um, in case you didn't know this isn't about only this here this this here this this is very very restricted area here this this area canary wharf and that coincidence that the google maps are not working <laughs> i was here already since 1995 this year Citibank, UK Barclays, all this here. Canary Wharf, London. This is like the headquarters where the money is. Hamburg, this is where we would. Actually, this is where they would report for the overseas 
to Eastern Europe operations. This was like the main thing because the city is more German than Berlin. Uh, here you have like this uh, blonde Germans, uh, Germans, and uh, you want to brainwash somebody on before you take him to Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia. And it's not only pertaining to myself, it's pertaining also to Americans too. Then you take them, you also distribute them confidential information to Hamburg, not to the Berlin, and that's exactly what Angela Merkel was doing from 1995 for the German government. That's the way they have done it. This is just the way it is. Yes, I know Hamburg. Uh, I know quite a few things I could point out about the German past. Yeah, now let's go back to Klagenfurt. First of all, yeah, this is this one here. Well, it says here, Firm Firmensitz, Firmensitz, Ferdinand, Gerietstrasse, 15, 9, 90, 20, Klagenfurt, and so on. No, this is not a Firmensitz, yeah. Unless it totally, totally changed, but a Firmensitz was at this address here. This was the Firmensitz, the headquarters, the main office where it all started, you know, was located here. This is the main place. This is when it all started. You know when this started? This started sometimes in 96. This started sometimes in 1996. And you know by whom this thing was started? This thing was started by this girl here. She is now a Magister, Birgit Lautner, who became a friend with Angela Merkel. Through, of course, of course, through my case. Through my case, of course. And we met with this girl. With the girl. And not in my dreams, not in my dreams. In total reality. In a total, total, total reality. Uh, ay, ay, ay. We're going to put like this. Guest house, clinic, like that, just like that. We go straight to the guest house. Okay, it's guest hof Kunik. You see? Look. Yes, what a mistake I done made it. Huh? This is exactly where how we met through. We met through that Kunik guest house. That guest house was the guest house very located very near in a vicinity in her vicinity and she how somehow wandered into this area and got caught in between. Sometimes in well, I think it probably was really 96 that Birgit completed her education and she became like, a, you know, very independent and she started to dream about her independence. She lived here in this home with her mommy, with her daddy, and she decided that she's going to do something big in her life. Maybe 
become Arnold Schwarzenegger number two or something like that. And she had a serious plan in this little house here that you see. By the way, the house I obviously I cannot see one right because there's no Google Maps there's no shit excuse me but this is true it looks like this it's like an entrance you know it's like not a big one it's not a big thing and it was not even meant you know to be a house or something like this um but she wasn't sure whether she should she shouldn't what that she was gonna fix this and that she's gonna start completely her independent and stuff like that eventually the girl was really dreaming about me and i was dreaming about her too but i well i discouraged her from pursuing this option here and she abandoned this one really quickly and she was back inside of this home with the parents and as things would not fall in place she got eventually married to a guy actually dated one she started to date one like at about like 2000 like i think that's already probably when the uh, i'm thinking what the hell maybe she even got baby already she, she didn't waste much time she was like 97, 98, 99, I think I have a boyfriend or whatever, and it was a game over. And then what happened was, um, yeah, then what happened was what? What was then that happened? Then this here is what happened, basically, this here. Yep, this year is what happened. She decided to go to the bigger city, city Clog and Fort. Here, this place. And she decided she's going to go big or broke. And she started this business here. With this thing on the top then, later on, add it. Okay, I'm just really humorous when it comes to that, all right? I'm just humorous, okay? But she started, she decided, no, I'm not gonna have inside of my daddy house anymore stuff and this and that. Uh, and eventually she started this here. Sometimes, I estimate probably sometimes I can, man, probably I estimate, you know, as it pets maybe 99 something like this I would say she started with this and with her hobby what happened was you see all this time all this simultaneously um, at the same time she was working very very seriously on this house here too and created here a parking lot uh, and also enlarge the house. The house was no more like the house grew up. Okay, so this is again one of those structures that became expanded structure. I, sorry, have no way that, no, 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 no. You see, when you click here, you are taken to somewhere else. No, 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 you're not permitted to go in there. You don't see nothing you're on a highway immediately you're on a highway and so the hobby and she and both worked this place um the business pick picked she you know it became an important big it uh added the parking lot probably here that you see here the big lady added this probably sometimes i i estimate so probably I don't know maybe like in first it was the house improvement and then the second thing like uh, she added something to the house something extended whatever then what happened was um, the parking lot was also added 
and you're talking probably about man sometimes like 2000 and 2003 even you know parking lot 2002 2003 parking lot so she was picking up really really quickly you see this is how life opened up for her thanks god i think she's a really wonderful person um fast now going back to um to this to this uh gusthof koenig oh it's just right in vicinity of this thing here where i was right now really in a total vicinity but i'm not i don't want to go and search this all the time gusthof koenig was where donald trump would stay um not only he but Angela Merkel they would come here to this Gusthof Koenig this with a good reason is with the name Koenig Gusthof Koenig this they would stop here from 95 always before they would go down here they had to go to Slovenia or something like that uh, before they would even appear in the Klagenfurt or in Ljubljana and so on this year this this was the the place this Gustav Koenig <laughs> and what was going on with this Gustav Koenig uh, yeah. Gustav Koenig this is the Gustav Koenig guest house king is the name well at one point in time because of the violence because of the chetnik violence in slovenia because of the shit that went on in my own home here in slovenia i no longer wanted to go back to slovenia and i was determined to wait for them here and refuse to go there i refuse to have anything to have with anything um yeah i was close to crying that i would go down there um the chetnik violence in slovenia and chetnikoslavia was a little bit too big for me and i'm so pissed off right now that you have no idea when i report about this ljubljana psychiatric hospital started to involve in this stuff protest uh slovenian politicians heard it it was a war it was embarrassment people from this little village however embraced me they sided with me they felt that uh, according to what I have seen the reactions from me uh, that they're gonna take me to Slovenia and I didn't want to go it was totally totally embarrassing situation for Slovenian government the board of power was completely embarrassed but this this was the first house that was fixed here this one here this this would go this 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 house here was the first one you see in, in all this here this was the first one they would renovate you know this 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 house here that you see is which is right in front of the guest house well not right in front of it not but but totally totally close this was renovated its renovation started sometimes i estimate probably like in 97 98 and what exactly was renovated also a roof they started with the roof already back then so just so you're not going to have a doubts about my account i'm giving you to date the chetnikoslavia looks like this look no i don't like it at all i'm i am i'm so angry about this that i will explain why These are demographics of Slovenia, and you can see down here what the numbers look like. You can see the natural change from 1950, how it goes down, 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 down like this. And then in 93, or soon after independence, the numbers change even to the negative numbers. Uh, somebody started to cleanse, ethnically cleanse Slovenian people out of existence and sometimes in 97 this totally totally picked up look you see you see for the chetniks in ljubljana who had no shame to be 
trained, but to be laughed at by the Germans over there. Why don't you want to go home? Why don't you, you know, I don't fucking know. Maybe because this is no longer my home. Maybe because this was no longer my home. Because it was a Chetniks, because it was other people that moved inside of this home. Maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe because I didn't want to be beaten up. Maybe because I didn't want to be tortured. Maybe it's why. You don't think that's a good reason, but I'll tell you it is. Look, 2003, look at this, 2100 negative here, look. People ran out of the country big time. And if you look at the statistics here, if you look at the statistics, and you're gonna see here, look, from 4,000 in 2008 to 8,100 in 2014, but the numbers people of Slovenian people running out of the country are much, much greater than this. These are unreal numbers. So you can see what's going on. You can you can get a clearly clear idea about what goes on. But for every one of our people that lives from here, it's somebody else that moves inside here. Bart Pahor said like this, look. This is according to the brave president Borut Pahor. It's a Slovensky president. Slovenian president Borut Pahor. He stated like this. This here, he explained to me, is a river is like what he creates, basically. He does this with psychiatry. He does this with the joblessness. He does this with a different issues. He create a river of the people basically running out of the country uh, and at the same time substituting this with other people from somewhere else. And this is how he's making. And he was boasting about what kind of river that he made, how he started the river, how the river was small, and what a river he just created. What a river, boy, he just managed to create. Wonderful. Congratulations to this man here. He is really extraordinary president of Slovenia. Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital is also the hospital that accused me of attempt to exterminate Slovenian people. Thank you very much. So if you think that I don't know what precisely I'm talking about, you might be uh, really at stake. Uh, look, this is behind there. This is her home where she lives at. This here that you see, this was placed here sometimes. I know this because we would drive from the Klagan Fort. You see, this way is a Klagan Fort. You go towards Slovenia. To Germany, this way, yep. With Mercedes inside of the car with Angela Merkel, her driver. This here was placed, my goodness, this was the last thing that, that was placed here. This was even placed I don't know. I'm gonna tell you that this here goes back in time. This one here probably goes probably to about here. I don't know, maybe 90. What the first thing that was improvement here that that will come here was this here. This this got here sometimes in 90. I don't know, man. 90. Uh, probably you know what 90. 99 I'm gonna say and then you have this thing here that came like relatively late when compared to that one right there so I'm gonna say this year maybe even 2005 when we came here to this place here there was nothing here there was nothing here this kind of reminded me of Poland a little bit because it was just nothing this bushes that you see this stuff here this was like cut really really short and this stuff that you see, this was increased big time. This was like, it multiplied. It was here, but it was, was not this big. It was not this developed, nowhere near in 96. This was just a fraction, basically, of what you see here. And they would survey this valley here per, as per what industry they would, they would place. And I remember, and they would have these Americans walk here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all over this here, back and forth 
what they were deciding about what they're going to do. So that pretty much this kind of stuff is what uh, survived. And it's that kind of stuff that I demonstrated you uh, arrived in order to increase. So this Birgit here, this girl here, she 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 built a reputation for herself. Now, uh, note please that we are in the middle of the nowhere. You know, we are here just by coincidence because thanks to Birgit, she did this thing. She she pointed out two things here. Okay, these are two addresses and well, that helped me to pick up quickly uh, even that I didn't get the job, I do want to thank her for this. I was really angry. I had a lot of issues going on. Um, but, you know, it might not be so wrong uh, to do this video, okay? It might not be such a, such a bad idea, you know. Well, I was a little bit humorous. <clears throat> and I, you know, this is the property she... Um, she obtained here in Klagenfurt and this property went over the changes this is not really difficult to point out uh, the, you know what I'm not exactly the friend of this kind of architecture to, to tell you the truth that I, this is not really appealing to me but at the time this was like something yeah the thing to do and, and, and um, it's not this kind of structure but it kind of reminds me of that kind of structure it's I'm just not really friendly toward this kind of structures. I don't find them very appealing. But this is like modern and for the type of business, I guess that this is this is uh, what it is. I am not gonna bother with this. I have a much bigger uh, challenge to go about. This is challenging. By coincidence, somehow I was thrown on the picture here. Now this one is a really, really challenging. And you were, we're talking about this building here, this entire building here, property. And then also here in the rear, this uh, actually one block. Okay. Um, what I want to tell you is, I was really, really mentally challenged whether to do it or whether not to do it. Uh, I am mad at Angela Merkel. I am really mad at Angela Merkel for what she did. I am mad at Germans. I am mad at Germans. Uh, a little earlier, I explained to you that people here were really concerned, and I want to accent that there was a lot of Germans that were concerned for me. There was a lot of Polish people that were concerned for me. A lot of Polacks worried about me. It was people all over the place that were worried for me, but I am I am really really angry. I have to tell you that I am angry about this stuff because the Angela Merkel's uh, principles. Uh, this is like this is not the way to treat anybody. Uh, this 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 stuff. There is no need to explain. It went far too far okay uh, this kind of stuff went far 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 too far that these people here are lovely people very nice very friendly people and everything they love me they were worried about uh, but that you know and I it's not that I want to pressure these people right now but that they would allow you know an individual over there in Berlin to engage in some kind of politic and this girl here I'm gonna tell you straight she told me that she's not gonna give me a job if I am gonna have some kind of any kind of problem with the German politic and this and that because this is a German politic and this and that and so on and so forth uh, I know I know she is a personal friend of Angela Merkel I know this but the thing about it is that I have to stress this out that you would know for something like this uh, and it, it, I, I really don't know whether whether they these people really think that I'm really stupid that that I don't know that this is gonna somehow some way die the way because this is what what this 
British Buckingham Palace Royals dreamed of how it is just gonna die away somehow it's gonna die it's not gonna come out it will not come out sure it will not be it can't be uh, I have no idea what exactly but I really really resent that the same way like I resented to the Polish for giving even a chance to Andrzej Duda to become a game president re-elected that they even tolerate president like Angela Merkel for a single second I resent this I I resent and I will never forgive this the same thing I will never forgive this to Pollocks never because this is shit that took away 26 years of my life away from me this is shit that if I already disregard you know repeatedly Angela Merkel's gestures like ha 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 you here uh, you here you're not normal anymore you know you're crazy you're crazy you're crazy you know you're not normal anymore and this and that from what used to be right here in Zakopan in Oviturk and he'll give it to you 500 million dollars if you if you manage to Recall that you were in Zakopane, in Novi Turk. If you can give a description of time lapse on a city, how it went through the changes, if you can do something like this in '97 and '98. Um, and you know me and a boy like with a psychiatry fucking up my life like in 2015 that psychiatrist told me literally if you're gonna mention just mention the word mk ultra one more time this they're coming to pick you up right now and you mentioned what i did and then the only thing you you hear is like the door open right inside of this room and they come and they grab you and take you for torture more torture man this is this is no fucking way um this wasn't about my ability to prove about whether this should happen or not because you know for the last three years i can only hear in my head Shh, like this pressure right now uh difficult health related issues broken spine cancer related issues you're gonna tell me that this shit was about my sanity that she questioned and laughed at at the same time no that's why i will never forgive this to this to these people here for what for this kind of deeds that's why i was really really tested especially this building here it is the kind of building that she gestured it's gonna be where we're gonna really see uh, we're gonna really see whether you remember something or not you know this is where it's gonna demonstrate if you, if you really remember something or not yeah i was really really tested whether i should do this building whether i should do this or not this kind of video yeah they have everything written down everything they have it's all they have all the the entire for every location they drilled me you know for they know what time they to to pull these issues and what to get out of these issues well the thing about it is that they had at least two other buildings at least two other buildings that they attempted to blend with this building Plus that, they had a people from Ljubljana involved in this. And they had people from, God knows, Serbia, from all over the place. They had people involved in it. It was humiliation here. It was, it was, look, sadness. That left people, more than not likely terrorized, people decided that probably they have to follow everything what whatever turned into completely wrong as of today in this world that's what i think you understand it's a fucking sadness what we see
And so for me to go about this kind of stuff, and then at the same time, when I give a good feedback, if this is what I give, this politician, so <laughs> like let's say the case was with the Putin, like the case was with the Vucic, they, in 2015, the order was just mention the fucking word MK Ultra, and we come to pick you up. We take you to the mental hospital, and they did. When I went through the Poland, when I got so many proofs that it was already undisputable about what took place, uh, politics, just as they told me, it will completely change. It's where they released their emergency safety mechanism and they would have they would release the whole palette of serbs people that they would come in a parenthesis to the rescue now they did give me additional proofs however i definitely would make it without them it's not that i don't appreciate them i absolutely appreciate these people i appreciate these people and i always stand behind these people but the thing about it is, is these politicians like Merkel, Vucic, Putin, and others that are using this kind of stuff to actually, as a pretext on how they actually help out, and how they actually, you know, you would not make it this and that. So they, they, they try to be like in a controlling position. It's thanks to us, you know? Well, fuck that. Uh, trust me, I'm not thankful to anybody. and. That's why I also don't like to do it. And for another reason, it's concerning Germany and Austria. Somebody just trying to gesture me that this is the work. And I'm talking about the fuck up lies that they try to instill in me in respect to this building. This is not everything but easy to identify. Work of Russians, Slovenians, uh, Serbs, and I don't know what. This is yet another bullshit I have a problem with because this is in Austria, and Austria, as far as I know, is a sovereign state. It's a sovereign state. This is where the German-speaking population is. It's like I would blame for whatever somebody would do to me in Germany. Someone else from the outside, this is insane. Whatever happened to the individual in whatever country, this is the liability that tells on the arm of that country. Whether that be in Russia, this is a responsibility of the Russian people. Uh, in Serbia, it's a responsibility of the Serbian people. In Slovenia, of the Slovenian people. Uh, in Austria, the Austrians and Germany, Germans and France, French and England, I mean, Britain of the British and so on and so forth. Don't try this kind of stuff. And the last but not the last, the idea to push forward a hatred again uh, that somebody else tried with me over there in the city lodge in the Poland, that they just it was a Russians that to tortured you inside of the stores uh, in front of the store owners to terrorize them, but don't bullshit me, it's Gersh. Uh, listen, you're gonna tell me that they have done this shit without the permission of the Polish police. If they did, question is even if they did, no, they did not. Every country is responsible for their own internal, primarily internal, of course, also external affairs. And that also is the case of the Germans, uh, Austrians and Polacks and everybody else. Nobody is excused from this. Nobody is excused from this stuff. Angela Merkel, like Donald Trump, both attempted to divide Slavic society. I was taken from the bed in Miami for a torture to Slovenia with a simple, simple principle, with a simple, simple idea. It was a fucking crime. The moment I was taken out of the country, out of my bed actually, out of the country to the Eastern Europe with idea to incite in all kinds of problems and eventually even assist completely wrong side of the story pertaining to the Yugoslavia, to the federal Yugoslavia. And that site is Chetnik site. That's a Kara Georgievich site. That's a failed king who sided with the Adolf Hitler. This one here.
the one who signed the pact with Adolf Hitler, the Chetnik. This is the wrong side. This is the one that has no place anywhere, not even in Serbia. You understand? That I was brought for this kind of crap, that I am going to go and I am going to do this kind of stuff. That, I, that they're going to be, they're going to be, Kara Georgievich, they're going to be using me, basically, to get back inside of their chair. Uh, look, Mrs. Merkel, you are a little bit too much. And the one who stood up behind this shit was eventually the Queen Elizabeth. This was a British royals that would love nothing more than again reestablish imperialism and you know, obviously fascism, Nazism, basically. This is what this is all about. Don't even go into that. In 2019, this schmucks disappeared from the Belgrade. This shit who actually claimed that Serbia was rebuilt. That they helped to rebuild, that they helped to get the jobs and stuff like this. Okay, let me explain to you about this shit, about this garbage here. This shit was a nobody, this garbage. This garbage of the Kara Georgievich, this shit was a nobody in... Nineteen ninety-five. This was a fucking nobody. This was uh, some kind of related to some kind of financial transaction. Something, something in that sense. He was a nobody, lazy, lazy piece of shit. Is what this was. A nobody, nothing. Incompetent in London, waiting for the Queen Elizabeth to reinstall him back on the chair over there in the Belgrade. And through the money, through the bombardment, the real fine bombardment in 1999 that they bombed the shit out of the Serbia, they have already before that created a fascist platform, which, however, supported fascist Serbian movement. Clinton bombarded Serbia with idea to stop the war in Bosnia, to stop the war with in Croatia and so on and so forth. But it was a Donald Trump, it was a few other politicians underneath, beneath the table, include Clintons, because they allow this shit to go on. They allow Donald Trump to, to come to, to bring me literally to, to, to the Chetnik criminals of the Belgrade. They were the one, they allowed this stuff to go on, this kind of stuff, they did. It was two things that were happening. And in 99, probably they did not even count that something like this would happen, but it did bomb them up. They stopped this, they stopped them. The whole thing changed basically into completely open Chetnik politic, which unfortunately, but really, thanks to Mr. Borat Pahor, in Slovenia, uh, people have, with a silence, accepted because it was told to them, it doesn't matter really. It doesn't really matter if it's going to be, who is going to be, what is going to be, that is going to unite us. I'm afraid this is not uniting anybody. This is not uniting anybody because this, this kind of interests I'm not going to really say it, they, they set us further apart, but I have already demonstrated you the number of Slovenian people running out of Slovenia. This is an ethnic cleansing. This is not uniting anybody. We are useful here for as long as we are needed. The moment that we are needed, not no longer needed here anymore, we are ethnically cleansed, wiped out, basically. The river the river, the current that Borat Pahor talked to me about. And so what exactly happened with this? I did not finish this whole thing. They got certain 
jobs that they attributed. It was a Kara Georgievich that got British, the market, the jobs, this and that. No, 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 man. No, 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 no. Anywhere from Japanese emperors, they would have their business people. Uh, let's put it like this. Let's say I was this thing here. And it, it started like this. It started with Germans, with Americans. Um, angering people, angering people. Um, basically having me around that I would go and, well, what the Russians have assumed it's going to be like automatic compliance. You know, I'm a Russian, I'm a Russian and you could you be, could you be, they whacked quite a few people around me, don't make no mistake about that, automatically believe that I will comply, that I will just, just go on my knees and like this. That did not happen. The West realized my res resilience about this, basically in compliance. And they started to anger Russians through me by basically giving the, okay. Who are you? I am from, I don't know, Ukraine, whatever. Okay. We're gonna help you. What do you want? I want fuck to over there. I want job for my people. Okay. It started with the middle Zeman, with the Škoda in 95. Okay. Angela said, only if you're gonna help this guy. Okay, but we don't like this fucking guy. Okay, doesn't matter. If you're gonna help him, you're gonna get the factory. If you're not gonna help him, you can say bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna help him. How are we gonna help him? Well, well, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that and you're gonna do this kind of stuff for him. What exactly that means? And that means that Eastern European fascists, or not fascists, whoever you wanna call this, because none of nobody really spoke about that kind of stuff. So to me, it's all the same. Sign some kind of a fascist neo-Nazi agreement with these people before they even met me. They knew what this stuff, how this stuff is gonna be done. So in the name of help, they started to build through this case, a fascist agenda, fascism. Meaning that just like Angela Merkel gave through this, a factory, Škoda, the Czech Republic. That's how Putin got, let's say, I don't know, Lada financed through Renault. And, but that's a French president you're gonna say, right? Yes, 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 that's correct. That's why, that's how the Fujitsu came to Poland. That's what the Japanese emperor said when they sent the business people from Fujitsu to Poland, only if you're gonna help him. Oh, so this is more than just a Buckingham Palace, this is more than just Angela Merkel, yeah, that's right, these are fucking nobodies. These are a real fucking nobodies. Prince William, Prince Harry, the news outlets that you read every day that you, you get to see in the newspapers, you read about the fucking nobodies. You read about the con people, con artists, classic, Elizabeth, con artists, Andrew, Charles. You read, you read about Macron, you read about all these people, you read about a people who are the biggest fucking people and the biggest nobody. That's myself. A big Donald Trump, a big this, a big that, but all of them, whether they want to accomplish something, they had to go through this financially. They had to go through this, whether they like it or not. And it went the same way, the same pattern from the other side, from the opposite side. That's basically Belgrade Vucic, Vladimir Putin, Moscow. They had to go through this to get the money. So this is what they intersected. And this is where they played the word through too, because they hated one another, but they couldn't do without one another. You can't have Africa reoccupied, colonized, recolonized, 
if the Russia doesn't give you authorization for that matter. From the financial institutions to royalties to everything possible, they would twist around because they would meet each other for the meetings and this and that, all kinds of stuff went on. This is why, this is, this is how the weight of this case I don't want to say the world is built around this. A troubles, a lot of troubles, a lot of no good stuff happened around this stuff. And I'm afraid worse things are about to happen. Stuff I have stated to you about the royals, about the elites, is not going to sit well with some of these people. I remember Kate Middleton knew about this stuff. They would not want me to state what I stated under any circumstances because to them it's derogatory, it's insulted. Kate Middleton is like educated, she's very educated, she's a classy lady, right? In your dreams. Prince William, Prince Harry, everything they know, everything they learn in their life, absolutely everything. Charles alone, Angela Merkel alone, all these politicians, they learned through this case. They knew nothing about this world before this case. The two kids, they knew nothing. Absolutely, they were kids. Everything they learned through about this world, they learned through this case. But they learned a whole, a whole, a whole a lot. The stuff that I have spoken to you about demonstrates that the two knew about absolutely almost all affairs in this world. This is the prestige that you would get if you would spin around this case. If you would spin around this case, this is the prestige you would be entitled to. You would get to see the politicians from other countries. You're talking about the prime ministers, presidents, and at times even emperors. This is the kind of prestige, the connections you would get, you would get to coordinate with them uh, development, future development of the world. This is the kind of prestige, and this is the kind of prestige that you're not going to get inside of, not even inside of the Buckingham Palace. They didn't have any of this stuff. There were people that totally rejected them, would not allow them to come anywhere near anything. And that's why William, that's why Harry twisted around so much. That's why they were present so much. I was thinking about what is it exactly that stimulates them, stimulated them. It was a help. It was a charity. It was a humanitarian reasons. It was all that kind of stuff. You know what kind of stuff it was? It was a trouble. It was a real trouble. These people caused a real, real, real trouble. And all along, they worked foremost on one thing. And that's basically for this case not to come to life. They guaranteed me that this case is not going to come to life, like in a million and one way. I didn't want, I didn't want to go into this. I didn't want to do this building. And really, I apologize if I did somehow hurt feelings of these people here, uh, feelings of the people in Poland, in Czech Republic. Um, I didn't mean to do so. Like I said, there's a lot of good people. Feelings of the people here in Slovenia alone, because <laughs> Slovenian people, uh, definitely here and there some life was lost because of me too. I was told by some political people here in Slovenia, it's something I don't really believe. I don't believe in that. But I was told that the parliament, Slovenian parliament, literally, there will be times when they would transmit a program, I understand, like 24-7, about what went on inside of the parliament, and it would be that the program would go off the channel. And it was like this when I was here in, I don't know, 2000 and uh, whatever, 2011-12, that, that 15, whatever, that it would go offline, this stuff here. I don't believe this stuff. I don't believe it. 
I don't believe it because, you know, I just don't believe it. They, 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 they claim that if they would bring sensitive issues to the table, that the program would go offline, they would disconnect it, that the news would not even come out. Uh, the fact the news would not come out if my news comes out, if I talk to the world, I am there and you get to see me. Um, to me, that's just one of those issues that I faced uh, when I was taken around in a perimeter of my house, like in 10 kilometer perimeter around the house here. Uh, and they have claimed that there is an Israeli sniper on every hill. Uh, there is a vehicle hiding behind the curves and don't even approach the truck stop because they're going to hijack you and disappear you and I don't know what. Um, it's that kind of stuff that appears more to me. I don't necessarily believe. I think that if you would make the news like this, it would come live out, the whole world would know about it. Um, we were never able to see some other stuff, you know, all kinds of stupidities like this would come out. So I don't believe it, but I was told by certain people. I know for a fact that there were parliamentarians that got poisoned. There is people that they had suffered cancers, cancers I have spoken about. It was stuff like this. I know that they would drop themselves stuff inside of the food, uh, coffee, whatever, that was that kind of stuff. Things like this did happen. Of course it did happen. Um, something, if you like, almost like kind of situation, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez have spoken about in respect to the Congress these days that she feels is unsafe. It's understandable. That kind of stuff, I do believe it did happen. But that other, that other stuff, I'm just not prone to believe any of that stuff. At this location here, back then, the individual who was still in charge that protested to me, and he was terrified, was still Mr. Gravicher. This is a psychiatrist here from Novo Mesto. He was just completely in shock because of what he stated was my behavior. And this was, uh, by the way, a really, really nice psychiatrist to deal with during MK Ultra. But because the situation that went completely out of hand, according to him, it was time to involve other psychiatrists in it and so on and so forth. Oh, they were involved. Hey, what he meant is it was just, it would take more control over the thing. Um, Sometimes, politically, the situations develop in a such a form that people do stuff like that. It's, from my point of view, if I would be in his situation, if I would place myself in his skin, or for that matter, if I would place myself into the skin of Moja, let's say, psychiatrist from Ljubljana who had me, I would probably see no different because the politicians that you have on your ass This picture here, I have taken one, and this is not even the picture I wanted to demonstrate you. It's the only one I have taken. But this picture I have taken right here, as I stated earlier, a perimeter, 10 kilometer perimeter from the home here in Novo Mesto, right here next to Ratish in a forest not too far from this thing here there is like area and it was not exactly this one here but we were also here we were closer when this happened we were closer here to this road here says Gumber here Brezia. it was somewhere here like this in a forest. I want you to get the feel about what's going on. 
it wasn't about only other stuff I did not even spoken about presented you like I'm trying to do right now but they would take me to this place often time and threaten me life threatened me all kinds of stuff like this and oftentimes just to get really humiliated too it was if it was just like really too psychotic like if they suffered a pathos too high I would just let go I would not even answer I would just yeah yeah right whatever and once it was done I would just a reminder of, of basically where we are, where they are, at, where, where we are, at, right? So just they would make note that they didn't get anywhere. And it, it, I'm telling you, it was some really, really uniformed people in Russia that, and uh, ununiformed KGB top people that would be like, just when I would like ask like a stupid question and stuff like this in return, that they would be like, just like this they would be like in a state of complete shock like disbelief like a total total disbelief how is it possible you know and they have done this shit to so many other people and they would just knee down and i never did no matter what you know, half an hour hour earlier threatened you life threatened you with i don't know in this place here that i demonstrated you there is a water that drops down uh into a hole and disappears and stuff like this and started to talk stupid stuff on how they're gonna burn me inside and that kind of stupid shit kill me and throw me inside nobody's gonna find you and stuff like this there was plenty of the stuff like this plenty 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 of full of the stuff like that but at this occasion we were closer to the road that I demonstrated you and it was a blah blah and all of a sudden I heard let go let go and the guy stops and he looks and the guys, the guy comes. Uh, somebody, somebody says, just let, let go, let loose, let go, let go. I saw everything. I saw everything. Letting go. And the guy was like, well, um, he reached out for the button. They told me they have some kind of button, some kind of button they would click, and it would send the signal. And the signal would be dispatched literally to the police, however, not at the police station. In this case, or in a case whenever they would brought me to this place, the police would be somewhere here parked with a car. And within just like maybe, they had GPS on us and stuff, stuff like this, that they knew exactly where we are located. It would be always like five minutes away. In five minutes, they would rush. But before they would appear in the scene, it's some other stuff that happened. Number one, when he reached out for that button, it was another guy also with a gun. Because these are two hunters that somehow, and that was something that this guy who handled me could not understand. He could not understand why is it that now this guy would not know about this but supposedly everybody would know all along and they were from somewhere else it was some other location that these two hunters they were and as soon as he would reach out for that button that so that he would just click for the help for the police assistance you could hear somebody coughing <coughs> like this and it was two hunters armed and he said you heard him you know, they, they didn't even threaten or anything like this. You know, get down on the floor or something like this, put your hands up or something like that. None, none of that. Just let go. And all of a sudden, before the police came, you would hear, boom. And everybody look up. I can tell you, it was a drone. And this drone was operated by someone eventually I even know yeah the police came and it was like nothing ever happened everything was okay goodbye goodbye that's all sometimes in 
98. In 98. Well, this is something they already covered well because they they did with the drones. It was a guy. Perhaps I'm gonna say. Here, let's see. Just about perhaps three months ago, maybe, that he would demonstrate the capabilities of drones. Four months ago, maybe three months ago. Uh, he was playing here with a drone. Da -da 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 -da. But the thing about it is, Slovenian military received drones from the US sometimes in 98, something that they did not have anywhere. Croatian army did not have anything like this. 97, 98, Slovenia got them. And they were priceless. Just having a drone and ability to fly one over the hill and see everything, what is where and this and that, was just something that would give you unprecedented advantage. You could beat any kind of army with that stuff. That's why I was like surprised because it was like bordering the conflict between Croatia and Slovenia at one point, not too far from here. There is a tower and <clears throat> there was some kind of attempt to take over this tower dispute territorial dispute they had going on and sure enough boy sure enough um, to be to be to be to be to be completely precise about this with this kind of uh, stuff you know that I saw, that I've seen, and it was the first time I've seen drones in my life. With this kind of stuff that I have seen, and as I stated, it was the first time I've seen this in my life. This little country, Slovenia, that is like two and a half times less population in Croatia, could probably dominate the military field, the war field, it would be dominated, as crazy as it sounds. Once I've seen that stuff flying around in 98, in 97, I still didn't know the full potential of it. I still didn't dream about what this shit can do. That you can actually, with the Google, so you get to see everything. But this is how far it dates. It was a secret. It was a top secret back then still. But Slovenia got one, like the first state. And with that, it was like boost. They, um, so let's just go on and I'm gonna add you some more information as we go along. I had a problem with this. I had a great problem with this building. I didn't know what I should do it, what I shouldn't do it. Um, and yeah, it wasn't the easy one to do it. This building is very, very much, you know, just look at this this portion of it very much related to the issue behind the building you know, that's why I said I'm gonna do this whole block here this time because this you see it it kind of looks the same and I was taken in a circle in a circle in a circle and the thing about it is that this is not the only building and you know the buildings from the side when you look at them like from the side Uh, let's see if I'm gonna be lucky enough. I'm not because it's a tree here. But if you look at them from the side, you're gonna find like familiar stuff like this. You're gonna see the buildings. Um, you can mislead the person really, really well on this issue. So certain things I'm gonna have, I'm gonna reserve. Uh, from making a complete claims uh, because it was other buildings involved in it and they had some really bad intentions also to mislead about it but there are certain statements that I'm gonna give out which I'm gonna claim as like 100% legitimate I'm gonna stand behind right so that's how basically we're gonna do it all right uh, look the MK Ultra I'm talking about, the process itself was done in a, such a way that they would have 
those who would give you ensuring basically they had their assignment to assure ensure that you would be able to provide with proofs about MK Ultra all the time testing on your knowledge basically this was just a natural you know what do you remember about this point here and you would have to tell them da 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 da, da. god bless sometimes if i was pretending kind of stupid i was actually a good one for me i realized um it's where they present that other side Ruskis, Serbs, that I don't even believe there is an other side. There was a naive people that didn't know shit. There was, I was the person that I would go and, you know, reserve for the sake of my sanity, even the right to humiliate you, the right to ridicule you, the right to do whatever I possibly could to preserve my sanity, my dignity in a situation. God forbid that if you are subjected to MK Ultra, that when they tell you, become serious, become serious, um, take it seriously, understand and stuff like this. God forbid that you do this, because this is how those uh, sharing spree lunatics are born. Unabombers and stuff like that. That's how they make them. The moment you're going to do this, it's going to be your biggest, biggest, biggest mistake. Never, ever take them seriously. And if you are humiliated, make sure that you humiliate that first opportunity that you humiliate back because the moment that you lose that it's basically something is taken away from you that in the future it's going to play an incredible role you will never ever be capable to find yourself again if they do something like this you just have to make sure that you that you humiliate them back that you you tell them the stuff back that uh, sets them back, basically. Now, it's, of course, you, there's nothing you can do because you're drugged up, but believe me, um, in the future, it's very beneficial. The stuff I told them I'm going to do with them, the stuff I told them humiliated them, it actually really is the stuff that uh, helped me to survive this ordeal. No, I don't believe the Serbs, the Russians were so bad at all. I think they had to play that other side so that I would be a bad wolf, whoa, 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 jumping on their tail. And so that today they would, they would, Putin would be over there inside of the Duma that he would be telling his colleagues, oh, you see, he's going to fuck us. We have to collaborate. We have to do this. You see, you have a different, you have a multi-political uh, system multi-party system is the same thing as with the Serbian parliament so what they do so what they did was they really did some bad stuff disgusting stuff but this was a certain circle of these politicians that they did this kind of stuff now that I don't care really about the stupidities of this uh, you know people people had whatever they had you know whatever like I said I'm sorry it was and Russian and Serbian people even who lost their lives because of me, because of this shit. It was like this. I'm not hiding anything. I'm going to tell you the way it is. I'm not happy about it. There was some great Serbian and Russian people that loved me like everybody else. That they saw in me what they shouldn't see. And that was a human being. And because they saw a human being in me, they got killed, they got poisoned. It was all kinds of stuff. It is stuff like this was, this is, this is real. That's why I say that 
this Putin and Vucic and this Karadjordjevic stuff, uh, Karadjic, Vojstov Shesho stuff and all that kind of stuff. This is Borat Pahar stuff, this kind of stuff. Here that we have this Chetniks here in Slovenia, they're doing this kind of stuff. This is a very bad stuff. I'm going to tell you outspoken. It didn't stop, not even with the departure of Donald Trump, and Donald Trump eventually even counts on return. It's not finished yet. The danger is still there. So we go back to the business. We go back to this building. It basically looks like this. I'll take you straight first to my email. This is the email I got from Birgit. Um, she stated to me this address here, Ferdinand. Birgit Strasse, 15, 19, 20, Klagenfurt. That would be basically right here. I told you about she moved first um, with her husband. I don't know he was a husband back then yet. I am not completely sure about it. I would have more details about it. Listen, I don't have so much time. I would have to rattle my head a little bit more and pull more details from my head about all that stuff because she, this was this such a fine girl she updated me absolutely and everything but i remember her with associates i remember her with associates when it comes to this building here building i have demonstrated you're gonna make a why am i doing it this way because it, there's nothing you can do look if you want to get to the street street map or something like that it's not going to give you an option see it's going to throw me right outside in front of the building and you get to see nothing and the main thing is right in the back of the building it's not even here look let's go this side aye, 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 aye. okay you don't get to see anything you don't get to see anything you don't see nothing this is not going to do you any good. This doesn't do you any good. Of course, unless you would happen to be here at one point in time, right? Then it would do you good. Now, going back like this. However, it does me good. The first thing I do, I take a screenshot of this. And I'll just go ahead and I'll give you some more of MK Ultra proofs. Okay. This building here was at one point in a very, very bad shape. Very, very bad shape. This was a very building that was in a very, very bad shape. Actually, let me even see something else here. I could not absolutely confirm about this stuff here. I cannot say anything like that. But there is a stuff I can. Just the block, about the block down the road is the building I'm going to move next to. And we're going to do. Okay, somehow. Not crazy about the view, could be better too. The entrance to this building, if we go back in time, this is the building which she rented. The building she rented. You know that her husband, there is a possibility actually, that her husband might have been an owner, son of the owner of this building, but I'm not completely certain. The entrance to this building where we would come, we would come through here like this here inside and then we would go like this inside and they would be based in this area here basically this is where Birgit with her associates would be first based and it was not many it was two three of them three of them they would work here that's what it was now this here does not look presentable for somebody that is just really um, doing so well she's a she's a really really a lady that is very very capable all right she's doing just really really well uh, and 
her business increased itself and so according to my memory they moved up here to this here um, the rear of this building was in a very bad shape it's renovated now it's in a better shape um, the front of the building however The front of the building, however, whew, to put it plain and simple, I would say, according to my memory, the front of the building was eventually rebuilt. Uh, I should say rebuild it actually rebuild it um, rebuild this is a mistake I have used if I ever said rebuild uh, it means that it would be just um, renovated sorry I don't want to use that it's not a good word uh, in this case here that we have in according to what I remember the front of the building was actually well 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 renovated with maybe even some portion of the building added whatever they did but the possibility exists because of the construction that went on and basically the way you see the the building in a state as it is this building that it might have been that they have even built a brand new building and for the last thing they would do is they would put this thing right here in the top and this is where they are now um, I should say no not really but sometimes since probably 2005 already they are here okay some something like that you understand so they started in the back just as I have demonstrated and then they changed to this thing here okay just down the road you would go like this and you would get to this location here so the husband probably very very possibly eventually is even the owner son of the owner something like this from this residence here it was something like this uh, that means her husband is from Klagenfurt eventually I think but listen to me very good now if I somehow would make a mistake in respect to any of this like in respect to her husband because I can tell you precisely where he is from if I did make a mistake with this thing here the chances are that I would pinpoint his his from the multiple questions that I would get his other location and let me actually let me you see this we're going too much we're going too far too far too far in details here let me see something the husband actually might have been Klagenfurt. I gotta see this stuff here again I might have been mistaken here I am mistaken I am mistaken I apologize this is not precise the situation with the husband husband is near Klagenfurt but is not from Klagenfurt it's uh, yeah you see this is what I don't like about this internet here oh, look look what it's doing you gotta see this on your own eyes okay he's having a real difficulty so it's like this spinning around and okay it's much better than what it used to be it's like thousand times better anyhow um yeah. no he's not he's not yo my god i know entire 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 clog and forth i know what this girl took me everywhere she was the number one for the clog and forth i feel that she was number one
one thing about this girl. Oh, I see. I got to understand. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm gonna enter the address here, and I'm gonna give you like a like a guess. Not a guess. It should be more than guess. He should be closer to the lake. Yeah. She would got me to the lake, and once she got me to the lake, it was her husband that caught her somehow. She would be probably more this way. And I cannot go through the entire, listen, through the entire dam and clog and forth, back and forth. So that she should be somewhere here, somewhere closer. He should be then from the clog and forth, something like this, something in that sense. It has something to do with the lake. It did have to do with this park here and this and that. Look, I cannot do all this. If you would give me a multiple stuff to answer, I would pinpoint and tell you everything about his husband, her husband too. He's a very nice guy uh, that I just happened to, oy, to also recall and he was involved in it. Now, of course, he didn't like me too much because, you know, which guy would love somebody that, you know, you want to steal the girlfriend from somebody, you're probably not going to like him. So he was also, um, you know, uh, I think somewhere from here, from this area to the lake area, something like this, closer here to the lake. The parents models they have a house and that was it this is what became her husband okay um so let's go to the next building which is this here uh promised land three other buildings were involved in this stuff another building they have used it would be building that It was not located like this, but it was it was like a like wide building, and they would but they would have also balconies and stuff like this, and they would do the job and this and that, and they would also create a balcony and stuff like this and do all kinds of stuff. That was one of the ways that they tried to confuse me with this stuff here. The only thing that changed over here, and this stuff changed in quite early stages, was actually this thing here in the middle that you see, I think this like for the cosmetic reason I think that they changed this here they made it more appealing this other than that it didn't change so this separators here if you like this is the stuff they changed very difficult situation in respect to this building because of this balcony is here well, very difficult situation because of uh, a type of people I, I was guided around with. Uh, supposedly that everybody was an enemy here. Everybody became my enemy. And uh, this is the people had to become my enemy or they would just die at the time. This is just the way it was. But I see today a lot of like a thousand, thousand, thousand little things here that gesture me that that's not exactly the way it was, you know. That's not exactly the way it was. I didn't even pay attention to this thing here. Let me see something here. Yeah, yeah, I already know. difficult because of this you see this portion of the building you see it oh, there is another building here and all this area here this entire block here to be exact this was done by one developer um, developer yeah but owner not the owner of this stuff I think was a state the Austrian state because I remember that people would start to finance purchase this apartment store This building here, extraordinary building, 
you got to admit, because whoever did this, he was using the same kind of uh, architectural approach. You see, it's very much resembling of this core, around which then other structures basically would appear. Okay, but he would use this. Whoever architect was this, like a core for the building, right? Which he would base. We 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 still didn't get this. I still don't have the right to to tell you more about this. Thing. Let's go back because this is the first one I'm going to go is this one here. And so the stories appeared. The stories appeared. The total, total brainwash appeared. Sit it right inside of this room too. I have no idea. It, to me this is almost kind of crazy. But if it was, it was. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. If it was a Angela Merkel, I don't know. This is where your it well it's probably as well as mine it was that this is where it's gonna demonstrate my memory but like I stated this isn't about memory it's about totally other issues totally totally other issues okay and according to the brainwash it was like this this whole thing here did you see all this here this was all added. This was all added. Including with the balcony, all this stuff was added. According to the brainwash, repeating, according to the brainwash, this thing here was all added. They have, in fact, this here was as the first, according to the brainwash, this thing here was added first. This is the elevator. The elevator was the first thing that was added to this building and this would go all the way to, according to the brainwash, to the lights, basically. It would go all the way back to 96, 97, the first thing, the first thing that would be added. No, I don't buy this. I don't buy this stuff. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. It was too much BS, I realized there was too many lies. For this thing here that you see here, they insisted that the only thing there was was like a like a little clinic or something like that here at the beginning. Um, the rest of all this stuff that you see here, all this here, did not exist. So there was only this entrance and that's all there was. Actually, like something like this only this thing here only this thing that was i disagree with it i disagree with it even that it used they used other buildings and it, this is why this is extremely extremely dangerous because you're looking at the side of the building and i look at the side of the other buildings uh drugged up you have to understand when you're doing the stuff i'm doing right now your position is drugged up now I had even difficulty to use a Google Street here if I try to. If you look at this thing here, very, very dangerous, very dangerous. Quickly you would get a wrong idea. You would get an idea that stuff that I have just stated to you, that this is the way it was. It was basically without this balconies, without all this stuff, without all this stuff. And this stuff was later on added. I totally, totally, totally disagree with it. I totally disagree with it. Uh, in fact, at first it was this elevator that was added, and then that it was this elevator added. I don't believe this. Uh, it was just a real brainwash, I think. Why? Well, you see this here. Let me demonstrate for you this thing here. We're going to go this way. And what you see right there is like, uh, we say in Slovenia, we say Cerada, you know, like something you would put on a balcony and so on and so forth. You see it here, this, this thing here, this little thing here. It's still here. It's still here. This belonged uh, to a mom and dad. The family lived there. And I think it was the son who took over this or somebody, a young kid. Then I think it was the son, and he won. He went 
on to do this stuff. It's still there, the balcony was there. The balcony was not added. And this structure here was not there for it was not added. It was always here. See, I told you that people, people also they bitched me, they, all, all kinds of stuff, behavior came out, outbursts and all kinds of stuff. But people are still here. They, there's little signs they put it on to remind me. You know, to remind me. Um, you would be surprised what kind of little signs uh, they were used to communicate. Uh, it would be quite shocking to you. Um, now, there is something that was not there. And it's actually this portion here. This, whatever the hell this is. This was added. This little thing here. This little building, whatever it is, this was added sometimes in God knows when. You know, I don't know when the hell this thing was added. This was added like in, let's say, 2005, something like this, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I am quite dangerous, quite, quite, quite. So they had a lot of plans, big plans, but let me explain something, all these plans, whoever had this, they were completely in vain for nothing. Yeah. Now, if you go down the street, this is the building we are talking about. I don't know if it was a miracle or not. Inside of this room, she would walk inside. I would be with somebody else and that she would come to see what I remember, what you don't remember. And she would sit here. Do you remember this? And then it would be. And do you remember this? And what do you remember here? And it would be. And what about, do you remember about this? And do you remember about that? And so on. And according to her, it would be this thing here. Uh, let me demonstrate like this. Hey, hey, you think that this stuff is uh, easy? No, this is not easy. Because you're not dealing here with the memory, but you're dealing with other issues here. Despite all this stuff, I'm going to set a little record here, straight, about the stuff I told you about. He insisted me that this here was added. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that... That it was the whole roof that was added on the top. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, this, this is the kind of stuff that, um, that I would not forget, you know, and did not fail to use this kind of issues, you know, this kind of issues that we did this, that them say you will remember. No, 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 no. What I remember is basically this thing here that right on the top of this, I'm going to take uh, top of that little house that I demonstrated to you before um, this thing here yes this this I do remember that sometimes when they renovated the roof and stuff like that um, he would also take me up here and that took place sometimes like I, I think like in 2001 maybe 2002 something like that the, the young kid would take me up there he was something angry about and think he's angry if he would be, he wouldn't do what you have just seen with that balcony. Um, this here, he fixed it very, very beautifully. He put the flowers right there. He put this uh, bench here. Uh, so he had like a little place that he could, he could go up and have a coffee and stuff like that. Okay, so that the kind of stuff that was done. Before, I don't know what it was. It, was, it definitely was shitty. It was nothing like this. Now it's the way he did it. He did it like really, really beautifully up there. Um, but that's the kind of stuff they wanted me to just see myself through and believe that this is just the way it was and this is the way it was and I don't know what. Um, this thing here that you see here which would be best thing to see one from here from this point right here from the street if we ever make it 
Hello? Okay, that's better than nothing, hey. It's not easy to jump from the roof down. But I see this stuff, I see, you know, I see these glass things, I see them, I see this kind of stuff, I see this kind of stuff. Well, the first thing that was done in this building, and that would go um, to somebody quite important. It was done here in this part of the building here. It was done here. And whatever, whoever that was, he demanded like, you know, it would be something like, like this. Something like this it would be that would be covered uh, that was added as a feature. So the first thing that was done was done something on this side of the building. There was something like this uh, that had to do with some lady tenants that, you know, she wanted like that, that she wanted this. This would go to really to the 97, something like that, 98. And that was Angela Merkel. And I, I was asking her, and they were asking her why, how come that she, the money that, that that is sipping the money in here, that all this project that is around, uh, she said, uh, this is like this and like that, you know. Uh, the money was coming relative for this stuff somehow through the Berlin. So the Germany was behind this Austrian economy far more than what uh, this Austrian people would want to believe, you know. Another stuff that went on big time, it was here, up. The renovation I don't know what they have done in the interior on the top but they have done uh, right in the top they have done like a big 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 uh, renovation thing whatever they have done I don't know what the hell went on but there was a lot of interior uh, the interior it was not very very pleasant for the eye so that they have done like tremendous like a total total renovation uh, when have they done that? I don't know. Probably about right around, I estimate, like year 2000, 2001, something like that. Back in time. This was like a big ass thing they did. Yeah. Let's go back on the top like this and look like from the, from the top again. I don't know. I am actually quite suspicious that. But let me see something. Yeah, but it is. It's probably probably this is what it is, and this is probably what I saw. Um, very kind of uh, irregular that they put here, like a grass on the top. That they put this like I I think it's artificial grass, whatever it is, but. Or it's a real grass I don't even know it's like this it's it's quite interesting inside and if I would have ability to go inside then I would tell you the whole thing but like this is just like I'm gonna say like a total total risk taking when you make uh, the statements like this according to MK Ultra um, I'm gonna go like this stuff that I stated you is the way it is when I say brainwash lies this is when it's for me personally because of the stuff it's a 50 50 because of the stuff they did I am actually even gutsy that I go and I do the report about the stuff like that this is not stuff I shouldn't even be doing and then MK Ultra they insisted that this here was elevated the first one that was added then that this thing here was added this here would go this here would go back in time as far as to like 96 something like this whatever uh, maybe I don't know 96 uh, I don't know nine this would be like a second one in 97 and 98 this is a brainwash. I don't believe. I don't believe in it. 
just as I stated, the only entrance to the building would be actually right through here. And this was inside of this here, according to MK Ultra Brainwash, this was actually some kind of lab, somebody that would be doing something inside. And then what they would do is they would just go ahead uh, and with a new roof, after they would put the new roof, they would also go here and they would add, uh, incorporate into this thing the whole set, the whole like another portion um, with the balconies here from the outside, you know. This is the brainwash that I got. So this is the way they insisted the way it was. You know, and so do I believe this stuff? I don't know what to believe anymore. The only thing I can do is I can I can go according to the stuff I remember. It's just the stuff they have done is just um, it was by far too aggressive for me the the approach they had about this building it was something I have actually even was hesitant about I would do I don't guarantee for any of the stuff that I stated I guarantee you for the roof that I stated that it was a new roof that they have um, eventually yeah eventually they have even incorporated added certain features cover them with it uh, but still this is not enough for me to make a bold statement that this here this is the way it was I will not say that stuff sorry because of the violence that went on I will just refrain myself from it but what I will tell you however on the other hand they go down and that's definitely interesting stuff What I will tell you about, however, and I know this for damn sure that I know this stuff. Too much, it was too much violence. It was too much violence. Violence kills. This is not, it's not good. It's not good. What I will tell you, however, is that this here never ever was straight. You could never go straight here like this, straight straight like straight you know straight I used the totally wrong um, tool for the word straight straight is this straight when you go straight and yeah, let me demonstrate to you what exactly I mean by this straight what exactly I mean by the straight We're gonna do it like this, it's much better like that. There you go, perfect, like this. What I mean by the straight, is this. The primary, the way this was done, the way this thing was done, I'm gonna zoom inside. Primarily, the area that you see right here, where the cars are parked here, around this place only. Not in front of those buildings that we were earlier, but in front of this place only, in front of this. It was not well at all. It was not well done at all. It was actually really shitty done. Um, it was like people would just come here and they would park the cars basically this was not well done um, I have gone too far with it but this here all this asphalt all this stuff this was all grass here this is all grass all this stuff was a like grass grass 
here, do you see here this? This also was a glass. All this here like this. And the cars would park here and that would be it. And this pretty much was it. This is the way this thing was. That's all there was. Okay. Now look at this here. Now you see this? Oh, look at this, 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 this. See this island where the tree is planted like that? It was like this, just like this. This is the way it was, like this, like that. But earlier when I mentioned to you this type of architecture and another building that was somewhere they would use. They insisted to me with this, that it was like this also here, this building, that it was like this, that it was with the grass and uh, with that kind of stuff. And the owner of this store here, this um, mobile, mobile store, it's an Italian guy who told me that he's gonna put this thing here so that I would recall that this is this is what it was like, that this is the way it was. This is the way it, that this is the way it was here. This is not true. This is not true. The glass, the windows like this, always was like this. It always was like this in this place. It always was like this. For one thing, that is not true. I don't know if this was the Italian who told me this, if you see it that way. In a little bit I will explain everything. The, the people, the The owners of this uh, place here, they did not like me too much here. Um, they didn't like me too much. Um, this was actually a small place. And then they have, I think, enlarged this tenants left. And I think that they, they double the place. Uh, this here and also this here. They might have even some kind of a washing or something like that business, I'm not sure. Um, and with doubling that this place, I think they might have really, really added uh, to this area also this place here. So you can see here, you can also see that what I demonstrated a little earlier, uh, however, it did apply to this store only here. The only place I think that they did pulled out and uh, enlarged the area was actually this store. Other than that, they have not done this stuff. And for that matter, I eventually have to thank Italian guy. And it's probably a real Italian guy because he told me that he would leave the doors open. Um, he would take me inside and he said, look at this, when you come here, look at this, but I'm not there and I cannot see it. But he insisted, he insisted and he claimed that um, you go inside and you're going to see, pay attention to that stuff that they did not pull out, uh, you know, further out this, um, the stores. Now, each if you look at from the side, it becomes also evident that they did not, they did not pull. It always was like this. It still is that uh, the balconies, um, it's, it's basically, it's the way it is. It's, it's the original. I think that the only thing they did is they added here uh, to this thing here that they did increase that here at the beginning of this thing that they 
did something to this store. This was the store that uh, they increased. And like I said, I think that they doubled the store because it was something small that was inside that people were very unhappy or whatever. And then they doubled the store. After those tenants, somebody else moved in, they doubled the size of the store. Yeah, I'm not even there. I did not spoke with the people yet. I remember the people, the tenants here. For the balconies, balconies are original. Just the way they used to be. Um, they were not happy um, and they started to bug me that oh, I did not finish this issue here. This is like the main issue that I do guarantee for this issue. And for that matter, I'm gonna position here. We're gonna go over like that one more time. This is the best way to do it, like this. When it comes to this asphalt, this stuff here, this, this was done in the last stage, this stuff here. Interesting enough, this is really, really interesting. It's interesting. How, why this was like this, I don't know. Uh, this thing here, all this was uh, in a shape you see it right now. Everything else was not. The grass would extend like this. The strip would extend like this, tick, 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 like this, straight like this. This was all grass here. Yeah, and people would simply walk through here and then they would come there was a strip like this and also this here also was grass like the, the actually oh yeah, yeah. Um, like this they would park their cars over there like that just like that it was like a little a little bit cowboy here first in 96 when they came in 95, 96, this was like almost a little bit Cowboy Jimmy here, Wild West. Yes, I remember something later on, I am going to make another claim. Now it did open to me. But I remember it was a rain, it was a mud, it was not really pleasant for the eye. Um, this here that you see here, this also was, um, I did make a mistake right now. Oh yes, now I understand what exactly happened here. Now I understand a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, they did this stuff, they did, they did. I was mistaken. This also here was like a grass here. This was a grass here. Like that. So this is the stuff they have. This was uh, the last thing that what you see here, what you see here, this, this, and uh, okay, let's make a check mark like this. These are the last things they fix it here, along with um, uh, that's all, along with. Uh, this asphalt that you have seen a little earlier but for that matter we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take another screenshot I'm gonna paste this screenshot like that Zoom. that's why I mentioned to you earlier about the stuff now that's why I was really with the precision about the stuff because this is a very important stuff 
that's why I mentioned to you that this here, this was all grass strip. That there was no none of this here. It was none of this here. It was not. This was the last thing that was done. This was done sometimes. I don't know. In 2006, the last thing they did was this thing here. 2005, 2006. Before that, and that's how I remember. This is thanks to American psychologist. It really is thanks to American psychologist. He was the third with this kind of stuff. Daniel Smith, I have to credit you with this stuff here. He would go, you would go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and I never could understand why the hell now you have to go this way and here. You know, I was always paying attention to the, always insisted that this should be straight. Straight, 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 straight. No such thing like this. That's how, that's why I remember that kind of stuff. And that kind of stuff is really, really outstanding, by the way, that I would also like to thank to Mr. Daniel Smith, this one here. This always was here, however. Whatever the hell here inside is. No? So this is, these are the changes that you see that took place over time, over the course of the time. I think I, I did a very good job on this here. And I'm about to do a little bit better job. I'm still not finished. Now I finally understood something. Oh man, I was brainwashed that this here, this, this, they pulled out uh, the stores. They pulled them out for like a, they extended them for about like a meter or something like that out toward the street. I don't agree with that stuff. I don't agree with it. Um, I don't think they have done this. I don't believe they have done this stuff. Even that I was brainwashed on this issue here that you see. I don't believe they did that. No. And they did make things very difficult for me too. They made things very, very difficult for me because, look, you cannot go inside here, inside of this street you cannot go inside here it would be nice to go inside here and look this a little closer but you cannot you can go in every street but you cannot go and it's something also yeah that was Angela Merkel I was prompted that I will not be allowed because it would be too easy for me they want complete memory on this stuff here which so far before I say goodbye to all this stuff here I did excellent except on one thing yep yeah I will uh, assume responsibility for another claim and it's going to be the claim I have stated earlier I will go for that yes I will go for that I will assume this claim uh, and eventually confirm this stuff here. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, I'll say, I'll make a claim that this, it was like this, that this elevator was added to the building probably sometimes in heh, what the heck, 96, something like this. And then that this one here was added to the building sometimes in 97. Something like that. Or it could have been the opposite, 97, 98. I have no idea. I don't know. I know that with the Trump, we were in this building. Why the hell were we in this building? I don't know. I know that this is very, very easy for me to incorporate idea into because they put the new roof the new roof they placed the roof sometimes i estimate it was probably sometimes in like 
2004, maybe something like that. And yes, I do believe that this entrance here existed. And this was an entrance with a small office on the side in which they have incorporated another side, whatever the hell they have added to this thing here. I, I, I do believe that this was actually incorporated. I do. I do so. Um, it's a little bit difficult, problematic here from this aspect here. And believe that they have incorporated somehow then this together, this cosmetically somehow whatever they placed here along this stuff here um, with the balconies so that they would look like this. I do believe that this is the way it was. Uh, as a matter of fact, excuse me, that this thing here, this balcony is where um, this thing also was here. This absolutely was here. This thing was here. It was like this, like I've stated. But I think they have eventually this entrance here to the building that was okay to do it in a in a completely proper uh, plan. I think they added this here, that they added this, they joined this thing into one, that they incorporated uh, once they have added also um, this portion of the building here. This is, I think, when they have joined everything into one. I think this is the way this thing was, okay? That's the way I estimate this thing was done with this building. And now I think I did the whole diamond building for you. And I actually don't think I have made a mistake in respect to building. Mistake of any kind. Nothing other than that changed, really. Now we do have another building here that I'm going to take on it too. I will not reserve anything here in respect to this stuff here. I'm wasting time on anything. Ah, so what do we have here? I think is actually a portion of the old structure, which was this part of the building. This was some kind of a rental building that always was here. And then we have this thing here that was either, I'm going to say like, a, you see how difficult it is when I cannot see this and I cannot maneuver somehow this properly so that I would give you, you know, the exact, it's very difficult for me to see it. You know, I would be, I should be there and give you an idea about this and I'm not and it's not it's not easy to be like this this is not easy to do that kind of stuff portion of this house whatever it is I think it's it's upgraded okay they have added to this house this entrance all this stuff here um, almost I fell all this this was all added to this house uh, when I saw this stuff going, I had an idea that the whole house, the new house came up, but it was not. This is old structure that was just basically increased in its size, the entrance and stuff like this. But this house not. This house with this sign here, 
this house not it's still there the owners remember me very well so that would be for what you have seen here simultaneously this here the parking lots this stuff here always was like that here I have to say that always was well done it was not like this here this this was like a wild west here uh, there was no parking here there was nothing it was like I demonstrated you but this year it was so that became like this here this apartment buildings here that you see here had also some kind of balconies that were cosmetically I think not very appealing and that might have been well probably just about something like this too because I remember that sometimes in <sighs> but that must have been the year probably like 2001 2002 maybe something like this this here would quite uh, change the view it would quite shine this it looked completely different so that I anticipate that the only thing they did is they might have changed instead of metal this thing whatever this is cement whatever this metal whatever this this fence here they have installed themselves this through see through feature or whatever this this stuff yeah I think they did that I think that that's the only thing they have done to it and that's basically all there is to it when it comes to this thing here I don't think they have done anything more than that really all through they hyped me on how they have added the balconies and stuff like that I don't think they really did add the balconies. I don't think they had the balconies. I don't think they did. This a roof, this kind of stuff, they definitely added. And they did this stuff here. This is another building I'm heading to. And this is the kind of stuff they added. This. These are the things they added. This that kind of stuff this was added um this was added like um you know sometimes in like i estimate time wise this would go like i don't know 2002 something like this 2003 whatever i can't give anything anything more on this stuff i can tell you what the building is pretty much um the way i see in the shape as it always was because the main maintenance the main job in the building they did right here in this area that you see here these are stairways uh, and this is where the main job was done whatever they have done here this is where the main job was done uh, physician doctor's offices were located on this floor here once you would step inside there was this balcony this big ass balcony here um, then you would go up here and on the other side were apartments however on this side was like a clinic it was like a doctor where we would go in 96 97 98 and I don't know about 99 but occasionally they would bring me here um, probably just to remind me you know for whatever reasons they were coming here what they have added to this building however what they did okay that's something they did this frame here this thing here this was added sometimes in I think 95 or 96 it was the first thing they added to the building and it's still there and it's very very unusual uh, what the purpose of this thing is today still it's there just as it was I do not know but as was mine it could be also to remind me so then these people have a big heart for me if that's true 
this or three fixtures they would add in here knowing that I could never go wrong. They had something in plan to do and then it seems like the whole thing stopped. It didn't progress anywhere. I know, I don't know, some boys from here that would be also crazy about me whenever I would come but this completely ran out of hands uh, and people became totally terrified, fearing for their own lives. Luckily, in Austria, on a border with Slovenia too. Um, what the hell went on, I have no idea, but it was tense. Uh, whenever I would appear here, it almost turned like almost into a war zone too. So, you must know that it was a happy thing. Everybody knew who was here. The emotions were just... Um, the city was flooded with emotions whenever I would appear. Okay? So that's all I have to say. Um, Angela Merkel insisted that there was something done on this side of the building, that, that she had done something on this side of the building. She was like, what about this? What about that? Um, listen. I'm not there. I, if I would be there, it's a little excuse I guess I can use. Maybe there's a 50-50 law in it, but I probably would figure out. Because I'm not so bad at this at all. I could do damage in that area too. You know, I'm not so bad at this stuff at all. Actually, when I think about it, this is really not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, with exception of what I did right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're just going to stop here. This is nothing to be ashamed of. I did a good job with the streets, the street map, um, as much as possibly I could. And uh, what I'm gonna do, folks, I am gonna thank this special girl, Birgit Lautner. I'm not sure about her husband though. It, it was like two locations, uh, three locations, three locations, uh, of which I came to realize that it was not related to the owner of the building where I have first suggested. Let me see something real fast. Okay, because the stuff like this, I can do. Crazy stuff like this. This is where Brigitte loved to come, this place here. No, I have not even gone through this stuff and I want to finish this recording. Look what time it is. Yeah, I think, I think it could be also that She gave this guy maybe a no-no from here because it was another guy that was very... It was a, this boys that would jump when Birgit showed up. They would be, it would be a happy boy. It would be like very much alive. Uh, yeah, this, this, this is just a house that... that... Uh, along this lake... Boy, the heart would start to beat really good when she would appear anywhere. Uh, she had a huge, huge fans, huge fans. Uh, guys were really interested in her. Now, let, me, let me do it this way. Uh, okay, Spielplatz. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a little more residential here. Oh, the lake, the beautiful lake, right? So, hey, I'm not gonna go into this stuff here. Let me see that. So that must be okay. That must be, but what did I mean? Geez, this is yet another one that uh, it's just one window you open and another issues again pop up and so on and so forth. Uh, and it's not even, thanks God, it's not taking me inside. Oh, thank, thanks Lord, thank you. Ray. Oh, nice. So I can use another as a pretext, as an excuse, whatever. So that I don't have to go inside in there and break my head again. There was another location, okay. In case that this was not, it was one, two, one not, this one very likely. And then there was another location that was somewhere close to, um, let me see, let me, let me see here. Um, the first address she gave me, actually she didn't give me the first, she didn't give me any kind of address here. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. In her email, the address is listed. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay, dum dum dum. So that means that if, uh, where is the comment for that? There da, 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 will be something tick 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 tick. Uh, something something around like let, let me see this here uh, it would sound something like what is it Blasendorf Gorten Beach Blasen Beach uh, in her direction therefore that would be like what exactly here something that would be somewhere then here something like this Regersdorf, maybe? Oh, that was another something happening here in respect to Birgit. The big boss. Yeah, she became a magister and so on and so forth. That's she. And look, the team grew up. It became really big. Let me see. Oh, well, until up to this moment, I did not click on any what you see here. I did not click on any what you see here. Oh, look at that. This is actually in Slovenian language, in German, and English, and Italian and German, English, Italian, Slovenian. And it's a Slovenian company. Yeah, according to her that she was a good friend with the Pahor too, but you know, Pahor is like this, you know, what the only thing I can do is I can give him a slap. There is a possibility that she secured a contract with the Slovenia through something like that. The, the possibility is um, there is a chance that the possibility is like that. There is a, it's it's a possibility, okay. Okay. So you get to see this kind of stuff. So this is uh, totally in Slovenian language. Wow, I am quite um, surprised about this stuff here. I am totally, totally, totally surprised about this stuff here. Okay, that's all I want to do. Uh, I wish her and her people 
her family, I should say, because this is how she treats her workers. Plenty of success. Yeah, basically all the best in the future. And yeah, I'm not a happy customer because of uh, pretty much because of what happened to me during MKUltra. Uh, even more so because of what happened to me in post period of MKUltra. And you know, the issues that you have to go to the degree, not only using a psychiatric issues forced next to the forced unemployment to get the results. Uh, but that you have to you have to go, you obligate yourself to actually break spine to someone and infect with the cancer and this kind of issues, you know, if you have any kind of sincerity in you, if you have any kind of intentions, half humane, quarter humane, uh, you would stop this shit at one point in time. Uh, unfortunately, Angela Merkel attempted to stop this stuff once nobody could stop me, you know. Uh, once I continued to talk about MKUltra despite the threat I received in 2015 and how I'm gonna be, uh, I don't know, hospitalized and so on. Uh, and once I had determination to come to Moscow to file for political asylum, uh, as they wouldn't let me to go through a Polish airport, Warsaw. They stopped me and I eventually through the Ukraine, I afterwards I landed in Belarus because this is how far Angela Merkel pushed me, folks. I started to see European Union as an ultimate evil, that they are pushing the buttons to just, because of the stuff, because the financial reasons that they just want to get rid of me. And I'm not saying that this was not the case. Um, that when I would get if I to Belarus, this and that, this is when it got really, really hot to her because I, you know, from Hungary that I already had that kind of stuff. That I wouldn't stop short of accomplishing what some people would probably refer to as a victory but it's something that I totally reject. Just as I have rejected all the fears, all the threats, all the, um, all that shit that I dealt, dealt with variety of all kinds of people from all over the place. Um, that's exactly the way I also reject to see my case as a victory. This for me is a loss. This is a 26 years of life and in the end with a ruined health for good. Sucks. For me, this sure enough was not worth it, by the way you look. Anyhow, the time date, you have seen that, and thanks for watching this video. I don't think anybody can argue with anything I have stated in this video. You got more than plenty proofs good enough. Maybe next time I'm going to choose some other location. Oh, this here was the primary location. Every time we would report, we would go to the Hamburg. But this is something I already got stated, I believe, in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to add this into this thing here, uh, which I started eventually yesterday. But it, it broke me in my head. And I finally, eventually, I did complete the one. Something I'm very proud of. Uh, thanks for watching this video, folks. Till next time.